Hey there, Aaron Wills again, bringing you another reaction video. I'm here on YouTube, I'm talking to pick uh, on law enforcement, see if we can find another idiot cops or a corrupt cops video. Here we go, law enforcement. What do we have? We have, when the idiot cops get the lesson of a lifetime, we might go with that one. Here's, there's two hours of corrupt cops getting owned by higher authority. We've done that one already, I think. I've watched it already on my own. Let's see this. When idiot cops get the lesson of a lifetime, we'll watch that. This is from 12 days ago. I haven't seen this one yet. I know that. Go watch this one. I will. 40% of the male population, population is considered big and tall. There we are. 40%. Get bad. Now imagine there was a place where those 40. Many cops think that their uniform and badge give them a lot of power and authority, leading to them acting however they please. Well, that wasn't a fake gun or anything. About well. cops who got lessons of a lifetime by citizens who stood their ground and refused to let their civil rights be trampled. Let's go to the video. Officer Pennington walked up to a man near the post office and asked him if he had gotten an email from them. Might sound like a strange question, and it probably felt even weirder for the man. But he knew his rights and decided not to answer her questions. Just look at how baffled she looked when someone didn't treat her as the boss. While they were still in front of the post office, she asked the man why. Now, uh, I'll tell you in advance that we're probably going to hear some uh, First Amendment rights, some First and Fourth Amendment rights, maybe even some, uh, I don't know, Fifth Amendment rights. We're definitely going to hear uh, Idiot Cops, as the video is called Idiot Cops. Then we're going to hear Reasonable articulable uh, suspicion. We're probably going to see someone refuse to give their ID. We'll probably hear somebody say, "I don't give, I don't answer questions. I don't give statements." These are all the same same shit they all spew in these videos. Let's watch. They might, they might, you might even hear tyrant cops. He was filming and bothering people coming in and out. But here's the thing. She didn't even explain how he was actually causing any trouble. If she was implying that his filming was the issue, that doesn't really hold up because everyone has the right to film in public places. Just because it makes someone uncomfortable doesn't mean a person has to stop exercising their rights. First Amendment rights, of course. There it is. Don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Name and badge number, please. Thank you. Don't answer questions. <laughs> I expect to hear it twice within three minutes. Who would hear it? Uh, the devil for no reason. I don't answer questions. Three times. And I don't answer questions. Five times. No, four times. And I don't know what like it's I don't Am I detained? Yes or no? Am I detained? Yes or no? Is there articulable, unreasonable, yes articulable, articulable no. suspicion? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm not, so I'm detained. I'm illegally detained. Yes or no? 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 Y
Even though Officer Pennington realized she was dealing with someone who really knew the law, she decided to push her luck and detain him anyway. She knew she wasn't in the right, but to cover up her mistake, she claimed she got a call from someone complaining about the man's behavior. But the way she explained it, it was obvious she was making it up. If there had really been a complaint, she would have been able to say exactly how the man was supposedly causing trouble. For the umpteenth time, Officer Pennington was proven wrong, but her ego was just too big to let it go at that. I mean, she tried to accuse the man Trespassing. Why? Okay. Now I'm all for the amendments to the Constitution submitted by the Congress to the states to ratify in 1789. Since anyone can just remember some things and act like they're just the smartest person in the world. I'm all for a person's uh, amendments and their rights, but uh, I just don't agree with having to uh, purposely rile, pe rile people up, rile people up to exercise your right. That's what they do. They try to get people to, to they try to get people riled up so they can say, oh, my first amendment right was violated. Wah. My fourth and the right was violated. Wah. I don't answer questions. Wah. I'm not going to give you my ID. Wah. And they all recite the same bullshit over and over. They all suck each other's dicks. I don't know if that's literal. But figuratively, they all suck each other's dicks. They all say the same shit. Over and over and over. I don't know who they're biting off of, but there's obviously one guy that they they got hard on, got a hard on for. And so that's who they keep copying over and over. All these guys, not all these. All these is, is of course a grocery store in St. Louis in the St. Louis area. I don't know if it's a grocery store anywhere else in America, but anyway, let's watch the video, shall we? I think we shall. No. Not legal. You, you, you can't, can't legally, legally detain, detain me either. Okay, good. Have a good day. Why? Am I detained? For what? For what, for what crime am I being detained, detained for? I, I haven't trespassed. How do you trespass, trespass, trespass on public, public property? property? How do you trespass on public property, especially a federal building? How do you trespass on a federal building? No, I haven't. I wasn't served any papers. I don't answer questions. We have six have times day. and ten minutes. That's not bad. You gotta keep harassing me. You can't detain me. I was not just trespassing. How do I trespass in the post office? How do I trespass in the post office? I wasn't harassing anybody. It's all on video. I don't harass anybody. Is that a supervisor? No. I'll be over here. Does Officer Pennington even understand what trespassing means? First off, she needs to get that you can't be trespassing in a public spot like the post office lobby. Secondly, if Missouri homeowners, we want to buy your house fast without you having to pay for any costly repairs, inspections, or expensive realtor fees. Not only will we buy your house, but we're so confident in what we do that we guarantee to get you the cash that you deserve for your home. 
in less than 30 seconds. She wants, wants to actually accuse someone of trespassing, she has to tell them to leave first. And only if they don't go away or come back, she can actually say they're trespassing. But things weren't looking great for her. Officer Ward showed up as backup, but really didn't do much, just introduced himself and stayed quiet. Maybe he figured out that the man knew his rights well and decided it wasn't worth the hassle to argue. But that didn't stop other cops from piling in. At one point, there were over five of them, with more police cars showing up, all because of one guy. And, and what, what was he doing? doing? Just, Just filming outside the post office and sticking to his constitutional rights. What's your name, badge number? Officer War 391. Doesn't matter, you still have to identify yourself. Good boy. You got, you got, I'm going to answer the question. That's what I would have said about the child. Or the police officer. I don't, I don't answer questions. questions. Do you understand? I don't have to answer your questions. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a big time. time. I got one, two, three, four, I got five of them here. You know, as many of the times you've said I don't answer questions. Hey, that car behind you needs to go. You're impeding traffic. What's that? Uh, I just know the rules and the laws. Takes five of you, I guess. Yeah, you're smart, aren't you? What's your name and badge number? Uh, you repeat that, please. You repeat that, please. Name and badge number. You need to step, step away from this vehicle now. I'm fine. You need to step away from this vehicle now. You can't give me unlawful orders. Man, I'm, I'm poor thing. thing. How you How doing? You doing? Good. 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 Do you have a, you have an I don't answer questions. Great. Seven, seven times in 15 minutes, no matter how I was on. The man decided he wanted each cop to tell them their name and badge number, and he planned to report it all on camera. So he tried to film one cop who was sitting in a police car, but a new cop stepped in between the man and the car. She told him he was too close to her colleague and he needed to back off. That's kind of funny, right? The cops were the one who had walked up to him in the first place. But then another cop who had shown up as backup told him he was going to start legal action against him for trespassing. This cop really leaned into his role. Getting so worked up that the man moved a few steps to stand in the shade under a tree, the cop puts, puts his hands on him. Now that's a move that could get him sued for battery. Okay, we're going to be asking you a summons for trespass. Not be legal. Okay, get it from now. Okay, that's that's Okay, because let me tell you. Officer, okay. I'm going to give you a stand back. I don't want him to stay in any other place to me. All right, Officer Ward, you have an attitude. And they can't be illegally. Alright, that's, that's, that's your concern, concern to bring up later? Federal? Uh, no, 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 you work for me. No, I you work for me, yes, yes you do. No, yes, you do. Name and badge number, please. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, uh, thank you. Summons and kick him out of the way. I've been on my way. I'm standing across the car. Yes, sir. That's all I've done. Name and badge number. He's working on tying his I don't answer questions with name and badge number. It's hard to tie. Yes, we will. And it's hard to get to moving with his I don't answer questions. Name and badge number. You know that. We'll see you again. All right. See you later. Have a good day. Don't touch me. I'm not instructing him. He's going to the shade. Are you making it worse? Back up. You know what I'm doing? Back up. Right. 
Yep, summon it. Right, right up, bro. So, so I can get on my way. Who's right here? Female officer is right here. She needs a bad number. She felt I didn't buy herself. She just points to her name. She has to identify herself. I can, I can read it if she still has the bug. What if I can't, I can't read? No. Nope. What, what if I can't? It's a question. question. The situation didn't calm down at all. Instead, it got even more intense when the cops crowded around the man, totally invading his personal space. It seems like they forgot another important thing besides trespassing. These cops overlooked the basic rule that they should keep a distance of at least six feet from citizens. This is to make sure people don't feel threatened, especially since cops carry weapons. Frustrated by this, the man asked all the cops around him to apologize. Do you think any of them actually said sorry? Not a single one. Their pride wouldn't let them admit they had might have been wrong or too aggressive. If any mistake could have de-escalated the whole situation. Increase your profit and work less time with Kittle, a genius new AI tool which is perfect for print on demand. You can conquer any niche you choose, all you need. This video has me so mad. What did you say, Pat? He died on the cross within a hundred thousand hours. Who? They said he was an alien. He what? He conquered the grave. What does that mean? Well, he didn't raise from the grave. Yes, he did. He was risen. It stood up. What do you mean? They necrified him? I don't know what that means. What does necrified him mean? Reincarnated him. Yes, he was reincarnated. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me finish this video. He did I know he, he, he has risen. Yes, he lives. I agree. He lives on Earth. No, he lives in heaven. I'm going to finish this video, alright? Alright. But instead, sticking to their guns without acknowledging their error just made everything more tense. Thank you. Yeah. 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 What's that? Would you apologize and say you're wrong when you're proven wrong? Aliens made this planet? God made this planet, son. You? You? Why are you eyes so red? You just smell like a pot on the clock? Who told you aliens made this planet? Who did? How do you know? You guys allowed to do that? You got a finished car? You got a car? Yes, the aliens powerful. are powerful. What are you talking about? You must get some good stuff. I, I don't believe in aliens. You no. <laughs> what about you? Smoke <laughs> Aliens do what? They make the ecosystem go around. Oh. Yeah, those aliens, they're something else, aren't they? I don't believe in aliens. How do you know they exist? You saw some on a science channel? Oh. Yeah, yeah I've seen that too. It didn't make me believe in aliens. And they believe that, uh... That's a real alien? How do you know? It had grayish blue organs. You don't believe that that could be uh, fake? 
Why? That is your opinion. Yeah, and you don't believe in God either, I know that. You already told me you worship the devil. That's brilliant. You don't believe in hell either? No. What do you believe in? Aliens and elementals. Oh. Yeah, you're fucking nuts. Well, it's up to me. Yep, it is. The man then noticed something really odd about the cops all around them. Their eyes were very red, as if something was up. One of the female officers just stood there blankly staring at the camera, which made the man wonder if they had smoked weed before coming to work. Given their unprofessional behavior, it wasn't totally out of the question. These cops seemed to think that by sticking together, they could intimidate people more effectively, but they weren't prepared for what happened next. They got schooled in a big way. The whole were you, you born, born between, between 1969, 1969 and 1979? If so, yeah. you can get $250 to spend at Taco Bell completely free. And, and I, can I can tell you right now, this is going to upset a ton of people because we're giving away these... It taught them a lesson, them a lesson of a lifetime. lifetime. You, you shouldn't mistreat citizens, citizens for any reason. And just, just because you're in a position of authority doesn't mean you can forget you're there to serve the public. In the end, all the cops had no choice but to get back in their police cars and leave. They're crazy. Get no donuts, coffee, fries, legal parts, egg wine, egg wine. Well, at least you got your lights on. At least you got your lights on. You're a good girl. I don't need, I don't need anything from you. Just give it to me and I'm waving. Bye bye. Here, I don't need your direction. I don't need your direction or directives. You're a tyrant. Leave me alone. There it is. It's a tyrant. Bye bye. I knew the tyrant was coming at some point. These guys all suck the same dick. Have a good day, brother. Close your laptop when you're not eating a minute. Oh, don't stand behind. No, stand behind. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, lady. Beep, beep. Have you ever noticed how some cops think the usual rules don't apply to them or that they won't face any consequences for messing up? Here's a case in point. A cop parked illegally. A local saw this and decided to film the whole thing, catching the cop in the act. Pretty ironic, isn't it? That same cop would likely have no problem handing out tickets for this kind of parking, but then he does and suddenly it's okay. But things got even more interesting when the man filming approached the cop. The cop was really taken aback and immediately told him he couldn't record the computer inside the car because it has sensitive data. But really, what does that have to do? With the guy filming, he was just pointing out the illegal market and not trying to be get police secrets. How do you know? Do you know that you're part of the violation? You're illegally unlawfully parked. Yeah, I'm trying to type up a call on the call statement. So you think that you have a right to park here because you're typing the report? And this is what lane is this again? Fire lane. Fire lane. So an emergency service vehicle. You're not an emergency capacity. Oh, typing up a call on the call. No, you're not. You're not. You're not responding to nothing. Haha, ha, there you go. Just roll the window on. Yeah. Gotta shut him up. Sorry, yeah. Okay. And two more three is your question to supervisor. Just for the officer to transport my and absolutely, it is a cop's responsibility to protect sensitive information, but in this case, things got a little bit complicated. The cop thought it was okay to park illegally because he was filling out a report. The only good move he made was calling the supervisor when the man filmed to bend it. The supervisor showed up and he took over talking to the man while the first cop stayed in the car to finish his report. But it turns out the supervisor wasn't much better. He actually argued that cops have the right to park wherever they want, which really isn't a great look. It kind of shows a disconnect, doesn't it? No matter how highly they think of themselves, it sends a message they believe they're above the law. 
What's, What's in, in the, the pouch? pouch? In here? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have an audio recorder where I take statements. And, okay. Um, they spit some. Okay. So people spit at me because that happens frequently. Yeah, yeah cover the face, yeah. yeah. Make, Make sure they don't get fly on you. Yeah. Which name better than her? Officer McElroy, 85 now. I'm going to do this part. Okay. Okay. Are you the sergeant? Okay. Hey, y'all can be able to talk to Yeah, You realize that this doesn't give you the right to park in fire lane. It's the right port. It doesn't. You're not emergency capacity. No, you're not emergency capacity. So, you gotta move your car, buddy. I know what I'm talking about. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. You're not in emergency capacity. You're not an exempt. You're only exempt in emergencies. Your lights aren't flashing. I didn't the, the cops noticed a man filming their police station from the sidewalk, so they went up to him and asked who he was. When the man questioned why they needed his info, the cops said they didn't recognize him. But really, that's exactly what constitutional laws in the Fourth Amendment are all about. Why do cops need to know the man, or any citizen for that matter, if he's not breaking the law? Seeing that the man wasn't going to be pushed around easily, the cops shifted tactics. They threatened to arrest him for obstructing the police. He didn't identify himself right then. But here's the thing, you don't need to be a law expert to know that a Obstructing the police is a secondary charge. You can't just arrest someone for it out of the blue. Um, I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> and that smug look, Megan, just want to stamp his head into the fucking tantrum. Yeah, yeah. It does me. Um. Right. Full name. Full name and date of birth, please. Do I have to? Yes. I do have to, do I? Yes. Why? Because as a police officer, you need to Yeah. Right, so I have to? Yeah. I don't. Otherwise, I don't have to. Otherwise, you can do something in the section if it's not you would be, you, I would privately prosecute you if you arrested me for, um, for that. That is an unlawful arrest. And you shouldn't be threatening to people with that either. So what, what, what are you threatening with the arrest? In theory, I could arrest you in the section if you police make a good awareness act to state that you know, I'd have to ascertain exactly who you are. So to avoid doing that, all you need to do is give me your name. I've not done anything wrong, Ex. All I have done is taken a picture of the police car. I've got a three-year-old son that's in a police car. But then he's still filming right now. Yes, that's because you just threatened to arrest me for unlawfully arresting me. I've stated that that is the effect, that is the power that I have. The offence. I have the power to arrest you like that. Are they even in America? I don't have that. The whole world is trouble if you did that. I don't want to hear about amendment rights. One of them even boldly claimed on camera that he could arrest the man right then and there without any good reason. First off, saying that on camera was a pretty silly move, and sure, technically he might have the power to arrest someone, but that doesn't make it the right thing to do. These officers were trying to argue that the man was a potential threat to the police station, and that's why they needed to know who he was. But really, how would knowing his name prove anything about whether he's a threat? What the cops were saying seemed to make sense only in their own minds. The main point here is they can't just arrest someone because they feel like it without a legitimate reason. The reason man wasn't doing anything illegal, he was just filming, which is a right protected under the First Amendment. The fact that these cops didn't seem to know about the freedom to film in public or the First Amendment was the man's problem. I must have been a Supreme Court decision. I'll let it in your pockets for you and show you that I've got nothing on the screen. I'll help filming. Based on the First Amendment right. What's that cop doing anything? I'm still getting pictures of the police cars. I'm surprised we haven't heard about the fact that he's a, uh, that he's a, uh, self, self, what is it, self, he's a, I don't know, self, the, uh, reporter, or whatever, the self reporter, no. He's an independent, right? that's what, independent. He's an independent recorder working on a story. 
They usually come up with that every fucking video, too. I'm an independent, uh, an independent, uh, journalist working on a story. What story? And I never have any answer. And I don't have to tell you the story that's not out yet. I don't want to tell you the story because it's going to ruin your poor, poor surprise chance, right, idiot? Let's see what, what happens from here. Yeah, if you don't comply, you have to work. Well, I'm not saying I'm going to arrest you right now. What I'm saying is, you have to look at the power right now. I've told you the power right In which case, there may not be a person in the right. Or a fourth in the right. Or an amendment right at all. I don't know what the, uh, what, uh, whatever, he, whatever they may be from Australia or whatever. I don't know what they mean, based on the bonds or. When the man questioned the cops about what was wrong with taking photos of police cars outside the station, they were at a loss for work. They didn't know how to respond until a female officer came up with something quite extreme. She tried to accuse the man of planning a terrorist attack. Can you believe that? Her colleague realized she might have pushed it too far, so he shifted gears back to the original request, insisting the man give him his full name, date of birth, and home address. But the man held his ground. He knew his right. He was on the sidewalk, a public space where he had every right to do what he was doing without, without having, having his privacy threatened, threatened by, by the, the cops. cops. Yeah, you just come along, just hide me there, get a bit of hassle if you can. I don't think they're in the van. Yeah, the police vehicles. I know. I wish we could watch the college football games we actually care about. You can. On ESPN with Slay, they have the college football that you love. You can even choose and customize your channel lineup with Slay. And you can watch it on your phone. That's not so easy. Now, how do we get out of here? Follow me. I love this. Yeah, that place was way too crowded. Yeah. Prepay and save with season pass and get the college football you care about. Sling lets you do that. Oh, that's what I'm waiting for section 43, the most abused section of all. No, I'm asking that. It's got to be what do you say to the thousands of people? I've got like 7,000 subscribers. What do you say to all these people now that are watching this and you're giving me all this nonsense about arresting me under section 50? There's no how does that work. I want to hang this up. I'm taking two fingers, eight up, but I'm not feeling I feel intimidated now. 